Uh, if you want to get into Gypsy Jazz a little bit, there's a couple of chord voicings that are not difficult at all. Um, and they just use three notes. Now this one is A minor 6, which A is the root, C is the third, and F sharp is the sixth. And that gives nice, nice sound for rhythm on Gypsy Jazz. And you just uh, play every chord really short and uh, down beats with all down strokes with the right hand in between the sound hole and the bridge. You don't want to get too close up here to the neck because it gets sloppy sounding. So back by the bridge and you get this kind of sound. And the nice thing about this shape is you can move it around. Uh, one of the key components of the sound of this music uh, is, is a very heavy pick. This one is uh, about five millimeters thick and it's a material very similar to tortoise shell so you can play fast and hard without, uh, without the pick actually starting to come apart or get burrs on it. Um, and uh, of course uh, the, this type of guitar is specifically made for playing gypsy jazz and uh, there's companies that uh, make them pretty affordable ones. Uh, Jeton has another line called Sigano. Aria also has some pretty affordable ones. If you want to just uh, try it and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Or you can also play this style on an arch top guitar or a regular flat top or even a classical. Uh, the trick is just to, to get a, a fairly thick pick and play back by the bridge. And... Uh, and, and put some some meat into the attack, and uh, you'll get you'll start to be getting a gypsy attitude. Gypsy jazz is a fairly flowery style. There's a lot of flourishes and a lot of kind of uh, virtuosic technical uh, licks, and some that sound more difficult than they are. Uh, here's here's a little run that incorporates uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. And it's basically an A minor scale starting on your high E string. I'll play that again for you. So you can hear the hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, another thing you can do is kind of rapid picking with the right hand on a chromatic. So you're just going right down chromatic. And then from there down diminished. And diminished is also is just minor thirds, one after another, which are uh, notes that are three frets apart. And then another thing you can do is kind of a nice uh, sweeping lick. And you can do this with just two fingers. This is a D minor. So it's down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. And you can play that pretty fast. And uh, those kind of licks are fun to play because they're, they're not too hard, but you travel across the guitar and they have kind of a nice sound as well. That's a kind of a diminished run, but it, it ends up, you end up getting a tonality of a, a D7 flat nine. We're starting on the third there. And climbing up in minor thirds again with this pattern. Ending on a G69 up on the top. <laughs> mm. 
that chord it's a it's like a it's like an a13 but with a flat nine in the bass right and Django used it for George Harrison used it uh, at the end of his solo in uh, Till There Was You. And uh, I think he used it here. And they, uh, the, the Beatles didn't know what to call that chord, but there was a guy named Gretti who taught at the music shop in Liverpool and he showed them that chord. So they just, they called it the Gretti chord. You know, oh, George, you've ended it with a Gretti chord. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. Uh, this is a signature model, um, Jeton, and it's patterned after the French guitars made by Selmer back in the 1930s that Django Reinhardt played. Um, the body size is about as like a dreadnought, but they were the first guitars back in the early 30s to be manufactured with a cutaway. So it's got a cutaway for access to the high frets. Um, they were traditionally made uh, laminated. The back and sides are laminated. The inside is uh, mahogany. The middle is birch. And the outside of this one is uh, Brazilian rosewood. And uh, it's, it's actually quite figured. And uh, this, this company, uh, Saga, found some people that will dig up the stumps of Brazilian a rosewood that has been uh, cut down so it's environmentally friendly and uh, also beautiful. The stump wood is usually more figured so um, it has a fairly hefty neck as the originals did. Um, ladder bracing like a classical guitar. The top is just slightly arched and it's a, a pressed arch to the braces uh, so you get a little bit of a, a trampoline effect in the, the the body, the face right here. Um, Tailpiece and a floating bridge and a slotted headstock like a classical. So this guitar has elements of a lot of different acoustic guitars. Uh, a little bit arch top, a little bit classical, a little bit flat top. But it's its own beast, um, best for playing Django style music and uh, gypsy jazz. <laughs>